Hello there, this is Hashim and in this video I'm going to be sharing a free gold tracking notion template with you guys. So this is the template that I recently created and I personally use as well. It includes all of the main OKR framework code tracking system. So without further ado, let's get started. Obviously you can get this template from the link in the description and yeah. So on the main page here, you can see at the top we have our goals which are categorized by quarters. So this is the Q1 of the current year, Q2, Q3 and Q4. This is filtered to show only the goals that are related to this particular year. And if you want to see all of the goals, you can just go into this uh, view right here. You can see all of your goals from right here. Now, the goals can be categorized into areas. So if you scroll down on the left side, you can see we have areas here. So you can create as many areas as you want and then categorize the goals according to the, those particular areas. And then at the top here, you can see that we have a current year report section. So here you will see all of the goals that are for inside the current year. So when, when you are planning, you can go into your years page here and you can see um, all of the years here. And then when once you're planning your goals for a particular year, let's say on the new year Eve, for example, you can simply open the year page and then add your Q1, Q2 and Q3 goals for that particular year and, and Q4 goals as well for that particular year. And then you will automatically see them uh, uh, on this page right there once the year starts. Um, that That's for the years. Uh, you can add as many years as you want so that it automatically checks your progress. This current year um, highlight section here tells you that this is the current year. Uh, and also if you go into the all of the views of the goals, you can also see these are the current year goals and these are the quarter they are for. Now let's go into the goal tracking framework. So goals, uh, the OKR goal system is basically we have the object, objectives, which are goals inside uh, this template, and then we have key results, which are action items in this template. So if we open a certain goal, you will notice that we have some actions. So these are actions that can also be uh, set to be like key results. So these do not necessarily need to be actions, right? They, they can also be key results. Basically, uh, what I prefer, I prefer to call them action, actions instead of key results. It's much more easier to track the progress uh, by using the action instead of action framework instead of the key result framework. Now, it's super simple. If you notice that this is our uh, main goal, uh, let me go into this main goal right here for Q3. This is our main goal. These are the actions that we need to do. These are the actions that are done. If we uncheck them, you will notice that the progress bar automatically displays the information and adding a new action item is super simple. Just give them a date and it will automatically add it as an action item right here. Now, if you notice that there will be like for the key result, we have the current and target values as well. So if you don't want to use this complete checkbox, it's totally normal. You just have to come here at the target. So just let me uh, add the progress bar for the key results so that we can have a visual representation. This will automatically be updated uh, for each of the uh, goals. Uh, let me see, uh, let me add a target. So for example, uh, in this building a business, we have like research business ideas. So let's say we have a target of researching 20 business ideas. And currently we have to research, let's go ahead and say maybe six, right? And then the progress bar will automatically uh, show you the uh, representation of the uh, current and target, right? So this is 30% complete. So this key result or action item is 30% complete. And based on that, we have like an average progress bar for the entire objective or goal for the entire goal. And if you notice, if you go ahead and uh, check them all, you will see that our goal is achieved and we have like a, a greeting section here, which uh, status section here, which tells us that our goal is complete. If you go ahead and uncheck everything, you will notice this is 7.5%. Why? Because uh, it is taking the average progress bar for all of these project uh, progresses right here. Um, if you want to archive a certain goal, you can do so by clicking this archive button right here. So let's go ahead and add new goal for this year. So currently we are in Q4 2024. So we'll just go into this Q4 section here, click on new, and it will auto populate the information that is required. So we'll see all of our actions. So these are basically key results. And then let's go ahead and fill up some of these properties for this goal. So let's first of all name this goal. So our main goal is gaining 5,000 followers across social media. Select it uh, connected to a year. So you can see that this is the current year checkbox. So you will see all of the years here. And, and the year that you are currently in will be indicated by this checkbox. The quarter is automatically connected. Now let's go ahead and add the areas for this particular um, goal. So we can connect it to any area if we want. We can add more areas from here as well. So if you want to add a new area, you can just simply add a new area from here. But we already have one area, existing area, this one. So we'll just go ahead and connect this to this particular area. The target date, we can assign a target date to a particular goal. Uh, so let's go ahead and add it as 31st of December. You'll notice that the status bar tells us the, the target in days, so how many days are left in, till the target. 
the actions ratio, so how many actions are completed and how many are left for this particular goal, and the progress bar is empty because there are no actions here. Let's go ahead and add the actions that we want to um, uh, have. So these actions, as I already told you before, can be key results. So, um, so you can divide the key results into any like uh, order that you want. So first 2,000, then 3,000, 4,000, and 5,000. So these are like key results basically now. So these like when you reach your first 1,000 subscribers uh, or followers, I mean, you can just come here and check this button right here. 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, and 5,000 and the goal will be achieved like that. So you can do that as well, or if you want to add uh, tasks to this particular goal, you can consider the actions as task as well. So that's pretty much it. But if you, there is also another way to do this. So if you don't want to create like separate entries, like action for all of these, you can just go ahead and remove them and just create one. Followers and add the target as 5,000. Uh, just a minute, I forgot. Yeah, it's 5,000. Add the target as 5,000 and then your current follower rate. So you can just constantly update this so let's go, say we have 200 as current follower right so our goal progress will automatically show the correct information let's say we have completed 4000 followers it will show 80 percent let's say we have completed the entire uh, 5000 follower challenge the goal that we had so let's go ahead and add it as 5000 and you'll notice the progress bar automatically shows the correct information check this box and it will uh, it will be removed from here and be shown in the this completed view right here. So this is how to add a new uh, goal uh, and how to add action items and connect it to that particular goal. Uh, below here you have the action items button right here, uh, action items um, database right here. So you will see all of the action items that need to be done today, here, next seven days, and then you also have a weekly calendar. So you you notice that in the next seven days we have these particular uh, action items to do, and these are connecting to this goal and this researching business ideas is connected connected to this particular goal. Once we complete it, we can just come here and check this up and it will automatically log our information in that particular goal. And let's go ahead and check this up as well. And it will automatically log our information as well. You can see our goal is achieved now here as well. Our goal is achieved and super easy. You you will also notice that the color of the status bar also changes based on our, um, if it's goal achieved, it will show it as green. And if the target is in 12 days and so on, it will show up in gray. And if we add the target date as like tomorrow, it will show up like this. Target today, it will show up in red. So it is uh, fully like dynamic. And it represents the color represents the number of days left as well. Now let's go ahead into the area. So if you notice that we have one out of one goal completed in our finance area, you'll notice that this is a green color because all of the goals are completed. Then the blue color represents that there are some goals that need to be done. So it shows the information right here. Two out of three goals are completed. So we still have one goal left to do. If you open this particular page, you'll notice that this is the goal that we need to do, which is in Q3. And all, our, all of our completed goals will be shown right here. Um, now let's go into the current year report. So if you go into the current year report, you will notice that this is the goal that is active that needs to be done. And these are the completed goals here as well. So this is super simple, super easy to use on the monthly calendar here as well. There is a monthly calendar where you can see your action items by date. So all of these action items are by date. If we, you can easily reschedule them by dragging and dropping them into a new view, for example. So if you notice that there is a action item that is overdue that you have not completed yet you can just simply drag it and drop it to any view here and it will show up here and then just simply clicking them will log the information right inside our goals so this is exactly how to easily manage your goals easily manage your action items in a unified system then you also have pages you also have action buttons so you can use these to uh, do the respective task as well so you can enter a new goal a new action new area new year then if you go into the goals page you will see the current year goals all the goals right here and you can also arc the goals so that they do not take up space inside the system and are hidden away from your um from your site so that your system uh, is clean all the time you also have action items, so today, next seven days, and monthly view. Then you have areas. I already showed you the years as well. So this is super easy, super simple to use. You can get this template from the link in the description. If you have any questions, you can comment down this video, and I'll try my best to answer them. See you guys in the next one. Cheers.